There are more than 59,000 people in our area living at or below the poverty level. That's one in six. Over 13,000 children are enrolled in school-free lunch programs in the Boulder Valley and St. Vrain Valley school districts. These numbers are surprising to many because poverty is often hidden and not well understood. In a community with an abundance of entrepreneurs and high-tech enterprise, we often do not see the need around us. But hunger is a reality for many, and the economic downturn of the past few years has dramatically increased reliance on community food share. In 2011, we distributed over 7.5 million meals, a 500,000 meal increase over 2010. The value of the food distributed was $12.4 million. Last year, Sean Cavalli began coming to our Feeding Families program after being laid off and unable to find work. I've been looking for a full-time position now for almost two years. And I've been very fortunate to have what we have, but it's certainly not what we used to have or even close to that. And with four children at home that we're trying to feed, this program has been an incredible thing for our family. I, I can't tell you how grateful we are for the people who contribute to this and help us through this, through this hard time. Our warehouse is a hub of activity and the staff and volunteers work hard to find and distribute a steady supply of nutritious food. My name is Michelle Harvey and I'm the Agency and Programs Manager at Community Food Share. I help manage a distribution team and so we're working with all the different ways that food is going to leave the building, be it through member agencies or direct distributions. Food does not sit here for very long. Everything that we have in the building, we have a plan for, especially perishable items such as dairy and produce. We first and foremost want to respect the donor and not waste that product. My name is Tom Reed. I'm the Food Procurement Manager at Community Food Share. I've actually been working in and around the warehouse for almost 10 years. The first seven years or so, I was just a volunteer. And about three years ago, I hired on full-time. Our donors have really stepped up and are there for us. White Wave Foods, Horizon Organic Milk, for example, doubled what they donate to us here about a year and a half ago. And that made all the difference in who got how much milk. And that there was enough for everybody. One of the key challenges in distributing to the community over seven million pounds of food is the fact that as soon as a significant amount of food leaves the door, an equally significant amount of food comes back in that we're processing and preparing to go out the door. One of the stated goals for Community Food Chair is to make sure children have enough nutritious food. How do we find the, enough of the right kind of food so these kids can be successful in their daily lives? I come here to get food, good food. We are treated very well by the staff that works here. I want to give my thanks to everyone here that helps so many families in need. And it really helps with the basics, the bread, the milk, the meats and stuff. It helps me and my kids get by from month to month. Being a single parent and when we are not able to work, it helps so very much. With the help of Community Food Share, Sean Cavalli and his family are back on their feet. Fortunately for us, after about a, a year of, of teaching, a uh, year and a half of teaching part-time, uh, I was offered a full-time faculty position. If I could just say thank you. Thank you to everyone who helped out my family and I when we were in need. Um, we, we really appreciate it. Just me personally know that I am improving every year. The nice thing about this job is, is you get to go home feeling like you did something good at the end of the day. Um, and, and looking out there and seeing all the product on the shelves and knowing people are going to have access to some really good food.